Okay, possum meatheads. Um, I'm Elise. Going out here to hang a camera. Um, I think I found a community scrape. And it's February 15th. I want to see what's hitting it. And I'm going to try to drill a bolt tree to hunt out of during fall archery. It's dry. I'm actually not having to wear mud boots out here today. It's probably why we got a burn ban. But I'm not going to complain because I can rock my Crocs like I'd like to do. <coughs> so I'll try to put up some screen grabs of where this is at in relation to everything else. Got my handy tree saddle. Got my backpack. We're going to go out here. We ain't going to waste two hours today because this probably won't take two hours. It'll only take an hour. So we're going to waste an hour. I'll be back. Alright, so I've got my trail camera set up. Let me turn it to on so it'll start snapping pics. I'll show you what I set it up on. So if you look right here, see this limb that's overhanging? Notice how it's got leaves everywhere until you get right down here to the lowest hanging pieces. Deer have been rubbing their eyes and their antlers and their nose on that and they've been scraping the ground down underneath it, making their little calling cards. I was gonna put a mock scrape out and then when I was walking one day down this uh, road down beside the drainage canal i saw this i'm like man i don't need to put a mock scrape in because them deer have already created a scrape there there's a couple of different places where they've pawed it out right there right there right there i think there's probably multiple deer coming to this thing so i'm going to see what's here and if i decide there's something worth killing i'll set up a stand somewhere but so the other side of the ditch is all thicket. Um, down that way, looks like this is the end of the road, basically. Looks like it gets growed up back in there. And this is all pine. And you can't see it, but maybe 60 yards that way is another big old thicket. So this is basically between two bedding areas. There's a big old farm with a hay field that they're turning into a subdivision right over there so there's some stuff going on here it's sandwiched between bedding depending on which way the wind is blowing this could be a great place to hunt um, a lot of options for trees that camera is going to tell me where they're coming out from which way they're coming in and that will tell me where i set up the stand if they're coming from this way which is what i suspect um stand's probably going to be in one of these trees right here with my primary shooting that way if they're coming from that way i have no clue how i'm even going to get in here because i'd have to walk down this road to hunt these deer and if they're coming from that way they're going to smell my trail and they're going to bust me unless i work my way into the woods back behind that thicket which is doable so depending on what the camera tells me is going to tell me where I need to set up at but ideally I would like for them to be coming from back there because I got some big trees to hide behind when I'm in the saddle within 15 yards so I can put a bow kimchi squat on them and wallop them without them knowing I'm here hopefully so the theory is if they're coming from this way they'll walk in and they'll work this scrape and I'll be sitting in one of the big ponds right there and I'll just dip out out of the saddle and put an arrow in them that's the plan you know it never goes according to plan though so yeah 
that big pond, that big pond, or that big pond are all good candidates if they're coming out from behind me. Yep. And a lot of it's going to hinge on if they're coming from that side of the creek or just straight up there. Let's walk up here and see what we can see. It's February, so I don't mind walking around right now. Look right here. Overhanging limb. All the leaves off the bottom. Scrape right underneath it. Maybe five, six yards, ten yards from that one at the most. I'm looking. I don't really see no trails coming up through there. I don't see where they're crossing the creek. Like I'm not seeing any tracks down in there. Let's walk back up here, here and see what I see. I see a big old trail. They're coming out from back here. Yeah. You can see it. Kind of walking it right here. You can see this trail. I ain't gonna go real far back here, but. This is what I think is going on. I think they're walking this trail. Coming out there. If that proves to be the case on the camera, I bet you them deer are bedded right in there. Where it starts getting thick in them uh, palm fronds. If it's deaf. My theory holds true and they're coming from this way towards that scrape. I may end up setting up further back in here because again, the camera will validate a lot of this. If they're coming from back here, I don't think them bucks are going to make it there before dark. So I probably need to get further back in here if I want to get me a shot on one of them. Oh yeah, it's like a highway through there. <coughs> Still don't see any good creek crossings. Right there may be one. Yeah, there's some deer crossing there. Not many though. Looks there's some deer bedding in that thicket back there. I'm gonna walk to that big pond. It's right there, and then we'll back out of here. Well, I've never walked this far back. There's a deer track coming out from back here. Ooh, I don't think they're bedding back here because right there's the neighborhood that they're building. Let me get out my map here. Yeah, right there, they're clearing all that land for a neighborhood. A new subdivision. Right here's a pretty good crossing, pretty active. Coming down, right over there. Crossing, right here. 
going up through there. You can see the dirt or the mud where it falls off of them. Hmm. I'm going to have to keep this spot in mind too. So that's interesting. I wonder how that new neighborhood and that construction is going to affect everything. So that's all pine. I hate this pine, but it's right up against this thicket with that creek in between them. And that buck I killed last year was right on the other side of this thicket on the pond. He was kind of cruising that edge. Looking for him a girlfriend. We'll see. I don't really see any rubs or anything to indicate that there's a buck back here. But... If there's this many does, there's got to be a buck somewhere back here. This is one of the spots where my, right after the end of season in January, scouting told me to look. And I found that big scrape. So, we're going to see what's coming through here. I've got three or four other spots that are similar setups to this. Uh trails roads whatever with a big old big old community scrape on them as i get my gear together i'm going to set a camera up on each one of them and try to pick me out a buck i want to kill my goal this year is to get a wall hanger i'm actually going to skip drilling a tree today until I see what's going on But I think I know I think I know which way they're coming straight down this trail from back there, so that tells me If I'm a deer and I'm walking up this trail I'm headed towards my scrapes right there And that those trees behind that scrape I am hidden I've got the big leafy, I think that's a magnolia, blocking them. And I'm going to be on the back side of the tree because I'm going to saddle. So I can look. They can't see me. In my mind now, I'm just playing this out. Hit this scrape. Hit this scrape. Come down here. Hit this scrape. Work it. Rub a little pre-orbital up there. And when they turn, there's my camera. Mr. Arrow comes. Probably that tree right there is the one. Now there is no margin for error if they hit that scrape and peter off up in here or down there. That's it. So, maybe back there is better. I don't know. We'll see which way them deer are coming. And figure it out from there. But I know, wind-wise, if it's coming out of the north, it'll be blowing that way. So no deer should smell me. My favorite wind to hunt here is when it's coming out of the east. And that's this whole lease. Because it's looking down this road, it'll literally be blowing straight back in my face. And that was the wind I had uh, the day I killed that deer. I was looking into the wind, and he came out of bed and, and was just cruising right down the edge. And he didn't even see me, and I didn't. It's thick. I didn't see him till he got within probably 15 yards. And then I got a shot on him at about 7 yards. So I could hear him coming, but I couldn't see him. It just worked out. But yeah, that's my thought process on this setup. Maybe it'll show me where a big buck's hanging out. Peace.